Hey YouTube, it's Hanna Loba. If you want more Moto America content, check out the new and vastly improved Moto America Live Plus app. It's the only place you can catch all the race action in one place all season long. Click the link in the description below. Championship chase, you take a look at the starting grid, same as it was yesterday. Alessandro DiMario, our pole sitter, Rocco Landers alongside him with Rossi Moore on the front row. Gus Rodeo, Dominic Doyle, Matthew Chapman. Going to row number three, Avery Dreyer, Sean Invarsky, and Romeo Chiavini. Jeff Bean, Chris Parrish, Tyler Duffy. Back to row number five, you see Joseph Bittner, Carl Price, and Bryce DeBoer. Jeffrey Perk, Jose Flores, and Sonia Louis. Row seven, Michaela Moore out here this weekend with Chandler Slagle and Mookie Wilkerson. Rodney Vass, Brandon Chasehorn, and Brogan Richards. Row number nine, uh, Cliff uh, Coakley-Heddy, Brad Foss, and Rich Foster with Drew Vandal rounding out the 28 riders here in Bellissimoto Twins Cup. Lights are out. We are racing here. The final race, the Bellissimoto Twins Cup Championship. Rocco Landers looking over his shoulder. He had a great start. Yeah, great start. And he's already looking over to see where DeMario is at. Alessandro's in deep, but is he going to run wide? Rocco makes a move out of turn one. But DeMario in the lead. You see Rocco, he's working hard early. The one thing he cannot do is let Alessandro DeMario dominate this race the way that he did yesterday. But for Rocco, he also can't push it as hard as he was pushing yesterday. He can have no mistakes. No mistakes, but he has to, to win. And Alessandro DeMario is in a lot different spot today. The pressure isn't on him not to make the mistake. At 15 years old, the weight of this championship now sitting on his shoulders. But if he can finish second with Rocco Landers even winning this race, the swing is big enough that Alessandro DiMario will be crowned a champion for the first time. Rocco Landers already has three of them. He knows how to fight through this. And Rossi Moore, it's a really good first lap for, for Rossi Moore. You see Rocco there hard on the brakes. Gus Rodeo also top four guys starting to make a break. Good Alessandro draft. Alessandro DiMario using it. Good draft, able to get by, and we'll see what Rocco can do on the brakes. You know he's going to try to try to take a shot, just not close enough. And he has Rossi Moore right there behind him, ready to take advantage of any mistake that could potentially be made here on this opening lap. Top four riders all staying really close together. You see Dominic Doyle there on that blue bike in fifth. He was able to have that podium finish yesterday. For Rocco Landers, this is not the view he wanted going into the second half of this first lap of the race. He did not want Alessandro DiMario to be able to get around him. The pace that he has had all weekend, nobody's been able to, to even touch it. Yeah, and you can see ever since he took the lead down into turn 12, he's already pulled out to almost a second lead there on Rocco Landers. You see Rossi Moore and Gus Rodeo also right there together. It started in the first practice session on Friday morning. Alessandro DiMario came out of the gates just 1.4 seconds quicker. Than Somebody else's mistake. He has the pace to break this group, even if he doesn't go and backs it off a little bit. If Rocco gets in the lead, he's probably going to slow the pace down. It's like Dominic's going to try to make a move into turn one. Actually, it's Rossi Moore who makes the move on Rocco Landers, and they're both going to run wide. Rocco Landers falling back. There's Dominic Doyle, that number 25, the blue bike. He finished second yesterday, said he was a little bit speechless with that result. It had been a bit of a struggle to get himself there, and he is fighting to get back onto the podium again today. All he has to do now is get around. Rocco Landers. Have to get going pretty quick if he wants to make a move on Rossi Moore. See that Dominic Doyle around the outside and turn two and able to make the pass. So you'd see that he's got the clean track. He has no pressure behind. He has nobody he has to battle with up front. And while he can back off on the pace just a little bit, he also, when you talk to Alessandro, he says, I just need to keep doing me. He doesn't want to back off too much because it's when he yeah. pushes himself that he's able uh, to succeed, as you see. Rossi Moore sitting in second. It's over five seconds now. Just every single lap, it, that lead just continues to grow. As Gus Rodeo was able to make the pass around Rocco Landers. Can he make it stick going into turn one? And he does. 
uh, back at Daytona. So he's always been right there. You see the championship point standings as they are for Rocco Landers. Put his hand up. He's slowing. You ask the question, does he have a problem, Roger? And that's the championship slipping yeah, out of his fingers. That's it. Unfortunate for Rocco. It looked like he was losing a lot of spots on those straightaways, and that's unfortunate for Rocco. Comes out when he grabs it. See, when he went to shift there, he's seen that big puff of smoke. And that's when Rocco realized that it was over for him. Alessandro DiMario has over second place of Rossi Moore. Dominic Doyle there on the number 25, still sitting in third. And there you see the number 95. That's Matthew Chapman. You talked about can he get himself into a podium and place in the championship. He was here to do everything that he could to win it, and all of that has culminated into this. Yeah, and he's did it as well. Came in, like you said, very first practice, made a statement that he was here to, to win, and, and he's did that. See another rider there uh, pulling out of the way. We have, oh, Matthew there's Chapin. Matthew Chapin. Wondering if he would be able to get himself onto the podium here this weekend and having an issue here on the final lap of this race, but no issues up front for Alessandro DiMario. This final race of the season is all about Alessandro DiMario. Just such an incredible season that he was able to put together here right at the end. Rossi Moore finishing second today. Dominic Doyle in third. And there you see Gus Rodeo in fourth. Dominic Doyle there collecting his third place trophy. Great weekend for him. He said he was speechless after being able to finish on the podium yesterday, but he was able to do it twice this weekend. Yeah, twice. And then also that helped him secure third in the championship. And uh, there's a... There's a big difference between top three and the uh, championship and being right on the outside of it. And Alessandro DiMario, very hard earned top step of the podium for him here this weekend. Rossi Moore able to right the wrongs of yesterday and end the season on a high note, not just for himself, but the whole.